Big Daddy here got us some wine so we can go jiggy with it. You know what? Oh, Jesus! 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 My people, no man will not be happy in a wonderful day like this. Oh. You see, it is the dream of every man to live and see the day he will betroth his daughter. Once again, I say thank you very much for making me proud. To have my daughter worthy to be your wife and your daughter. It is a thing of pride to me and my entire family. I don't know how to say it, but my joy is beyond expression. Ah. <laughs> you see? 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 Hosted very well. If you are looking for something and it's given to you, you should be very, very happy. Yes. So I am saying that we are very, very happy. 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 <laughs> we came in search and you graciously gave us what we wanted. Brought our desire to life. At this juncture, I would say big thanks to my brothers and sisters. I feel so great to call you brothers and sisters because what you did today is what a brother can do by royally entertaining us. When Jerome brought this subject, I was a little bit uncomfortable. You all can understand that it's preferable for somebody to marry close by so that you can identify the other family very well. We came. We saw that he was absolutely right. So I am saying, my people, that we are lucky and happy. And one more time, big thanks to my brothers and sisters. I still need my rapao. No shaking. The real one, because my daughter is an angel. No shaking. No shaking. No shaking. Oh boy, yeah. You know this place is literally white, washed with yuri yuri babes. I'm seriously considering of spending my Xmas. Yeah. Ah, it's good you said it now, because once we're leaving this town, I'll personally make sure you're seated in front of the car with me. You won't lose for you. If you leave at night, you'll disappear. Wait till they cost that one now. Nah. No be jealousy, yeah. huh? No be jealous. You know, listen to Ram. Timbo, Brad, can you people hear him? You don't find good thing, I know I'm overtake. Now listen and they listen. The problem here is you, Mr. Conflex. <laughs> Pateka. He's so greedy, he has had one of his own fair share in partaking. So stop partaking. <laughs> Stupid. Stop partaking. Come, now make you push me. You see, the best word to use to describe you is a professional partaker. <laughs> a pro partaker. You want partake everything. Every. You know the hungry one. Yeah. yeah you know hungry. <laughs> no, wait, wait, you're not hungry, you. Uh, guys, guys, I, I suggest we drive around town and fill our eyes. Maybe you see the reason I came here, so you follow suit. Good idea. The best thing you've said today. I know. You will say that. <laughs> Yo, let's ride with your car. Yeah. Mm. Handle with care. Which one? This girl one. My machine will make you close your mouth. See this smile. Handle with care. I've been taking take the make money. Come, now my marriage will come. Go back. Now my girl. Nobody can contest it. Chelsea is the best club. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Let me chip in my um 
um, professional opinion. Flex, What's the problem with you people? These clubs and people don't even know you exist. Why can't you support our local league? Yeah, yeah, we know our local league is all good, but I have to be very, very frank with you. Post that! Uh, I think I ran over his neck. But from the impact, it is a log. No, 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 I know what I ran over. It's a snake. Quick, what? What oh the? My God. Oh my God. That's a python in reality. Do you know how much the skin will go for? Why don't you check it out, nigga? Not in your life. Those things are dangerous, especially when they are injured. What do you know about snakes? I mean, a snake of that size will have plenty of fat and oil. That's equally money too. Wait, 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 wait. It's a lie. It's a lie, it's a lie. Timon, you came with your hammer, right? You came with your hammer. Yes, I did. Take care of it. Take care of it. Timon, you don't have to do that. Why are you sleeping? Hi, Opie, I'm so cool. Thank you very much, my sister. You're welcome. <laughs> You don't know what a relief it is to me, my dear, that my son has finally found a wife. Order of easy. <laughs> it's not easy at all. I almost gave up hope. <laughs> my dear, you have a wonderful daughter. How oh, is God? Is God? <laughs> I have told of her the moment I set my eyes on her. Hey, whoa. <laughs> I wondered if my son would. No eh, 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 don't talk that to her. Mama. Eh, nice. Oh, my big. Uh, my in mother, law. Law. Thank you. Very, very <laughs> You're welcome. You see, the journey is too long, and uh, I don't personally like my journey. <laughs> I know my my journey could be creepy sometimes. Mama, are we through now? Yes, sir. We know how far we're going. Yeah. No yes, sir. problem. No problem. <laughs> Thank you so much. At least all the nagging about marriage will stop. Honey, will you stop that? I never nagged you. Besides, you said that was one of the attributes you love about me. Mm, well... Nowhere. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> can we go now? Time is not on our side. I don't think I can go with you. Because I have some things I need to trash out with my parents before the wedding. Baby, I thought we were going together. Yes, I thought so too, but... Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. Hmm? Okay, sweetheart. Just tell them, okay? Just let them forget this cheap thing, you know? I don't have money. <laughs> All right. You don't worry about that. <clears throat> um, please, can I have this picture? Oh, first for this picture. Hi, <laughs> bro. That's what you should do. You should do like me, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Oh, I get cheeks here. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Hold it there. If you're thinking of coming to my village to sample the girls here, forget it. I'm hot, Eve. How can you think such of a brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lest I forget. This one you people are going home without me. Better watch it. Watch it very well. Because Jerome here has a nap duck number. Yes. He's got the bands on his fingers. Yes. So no more illegal paroles. No yes. illegal paroles. No illegal paroles. <laughs> Just one shot. One shot for the road. Naughty, naughty. Say mushi, mushi. Mushi, mushi. Ah! Just say mushi, mushi. 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Alright, bye. Hey! 
bro, oh my god. Oh, this. How flex? How you doing? What's it doing, man? I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm just editing the tender for the contract I told you I have with the Ministry of Sports. So oh, I see. Um, you know you were right. About what? The snake. What about the snake? You know, the guy I gave it to Skin offered to pay 20,000 Naira for it. Can you believe that? You sold it? Come on, man. I'm smarter than that. Well, he upped his price, but Chike told me that it's going to go for something better. Are you serious? That means more money for more cool beer. That's, what I'm <laughs> about. That's good, but guess what? What? Eventually, he agreed to pay 60,000 Naira for the flesh and oil. 200,000 Naira for the skin, excluding tax. You don't say! I'm telling you. Oh boy, that snake like pay like pay will fetch me a lot of money. Me? Mm -mm. Us! We share and share alike, remember? What are you talking about? I am running over the snake. And it was I who sold it at the bagging. It's my wife's village. It's my country, Nigeria. And I shot it. And Brad Fish here was there also. And I got out the carcass myself. Put them in your fucking boat, my fucking self. Why are you two? Why are you two? You are stupid like all the water from the distance. Now I want to do this shit without me. Damn! You know what, uh, guys, guys I, I'm glad you're here. Because I told this for more. You know what? What? Do you know I could have the mind of arresting the both of you for having this meeting without me? Ekeleme, please arrest them. I can't believe this. To say I'm disappointed with you two is a gross understatement. You two cheap criminals, you two deserve some permanent base in Kirikiri prison because of this shit. And St. Brad, your place should be in the Vatican City near the Pope. Healing the sick. <laughs> hey, 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 don't even laugh at me. Hey, guys, I told him to call you. And he refused. And what happened to your phone? Good question. All right, okay, it's all good. Now that we're here, so what's cooking, niggas? Nothing much. The snake and the skin has been placed on sale. Oh, for how much? Well, this snake here told me that the bagginers are bidding from 200,000 and above. Though I don't believe a word that is coming out of his mouth. Dang. Hey, Caleb. Did you hear that? These criminals are mean. So, where is the money? Because I'm not leaving this place without my share. Okay, 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 easy man. Where's the money? 60-40, my best offer. I and I alone knows who's skinning the snake and I can sell it without giving any one of you a cover. Is that in any way unclear? You snake! The deal is 70-30. Jerome, I'm not a snake, I'm selling one. 65-35, my best offer. Alright, don't, don't, don't. Fine. Good. You rascal. Don't worry, I'll get my revenge. What are you guys doing? What? We're negotiating. <laughs> negotiating? Yeah. Uh -huh. Without us. <laughs> Guy, they don't leave us. Oh. If no, 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 we share 25, 25, 25, 25, and that's fine now! Okay! Okay, easy man. Gentlemen, now that we are in business, can we please go and have fun with some of our ill-gotten wealth? Oh, man, yeah. Is Eve back? Nah, nah, she's not. She said something about an emergency meeting in the village. Hoo-ha! <laughs> well, now, there's this girl I met, Rahi. You need to see this girl, Jerome. This girl is hot, Jerome. This girl is sexy. Sexy mama sort. I mean, this girl is ravishing. Oh, yeah. She's so ooh, ooh ha. And that's the way I will explain it to Eve that you lured me to Eve. Step aside, nigga. You talk your own. Now. What's the problem? Your books are always hot, old man affair. Listen, you're a guy with them. What they call it? The band. I know. Okay? I heard. So, back here. I mean, where did they go? Damn. <laughs> you know what? I'm saying you are sassy now. You're all sick. No, I mean, I just... Get the hell out of my office. I'm saying you are sassy. I'm saying you are You animal. You want to kill?
kill me. <laughs> That's what you get for starving me for a week. Well, it wasn't intentional. Mm. Mm. Well, sorry for starving you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but honey, you know why I stayed back in the village? It was because there was a big problem. Mm. And my father was even scared that the problem might affect our wedding. It must be serious. <laughs> Very serious. What is it about? Our queen mother is missing. And the princess is so enraged. You didn't tell me you operated a monarch. Well, sort of, but the queen mother is not really human. Not human? Um, it's a long story, but I'll tell you someday. You know, it's partly our history. Okay, the queen mother is a snake. Come to think of it, the queen mother did not come to greet you. It's unlike her. Greet me? Yeah, you know. She, she appears each time a visitor comes to the village or if there's a joyous celebration. What, what, what do you mean she appears? You see a snake and you don't kill it? I kill it? Oh God, come off it, dear. No! Oh, you know, the Queen Mother is calm. She's so harmless. You know, as a kid, we kids would just play with her, you know, you see us jump on her back and she'll just wrap herself round us. You can't be serious. Oh, tell me you're joking. I'm not joking. Who plays with a python of such monstrous size? Oh my god! You saw her! What? God, my father will be so glad. Wow! So she actually came to greet you. You know, if the queen mother comes to greet you, then you know the person is perfect. It means you're perfect. Wow, that's good news. <laughs> I, I, I didn't say I saw it. Ah. How, can, how can you tell me that it's all right? Just, just because she appeared. But, honey, your description of her was so accurate. I know you saw her. You know, if she was not okay with you, she would go straight to the Egress Palace in company of the princess. And you know, though the queen mother is so peaceful and, and harmless, but the princess, hmm, so hot-tempered, the problematic one. So, um, I, uh, what, what happened? You know, the Igwe and my father waited for the queen mother to appear, but she did not. Then the next day, the princess appeared in the marketplace and stopped all the activities. So... What... What, what, what if... What if she died? Died? You yourself said you played with her in your youth. Yes, I did. You know, talking about death, it would be a sad one, really, but if she wants to die, she'll go straight to the Igwe's palace and die there. And the whole village will give her a befitting burial and, and coronate the princess. Jerome, I just can't believe what I'm hearing. In this 21st century, the days of Barack Obama, people still worshiping and those snakes. Come on, man, Jerome. Not worship. Revere. She said the snake is quite harmless. That kids even play with it. What? And you. I, I. I. Flex. Should have heard 
they are talking about a snake. I... Well then, we didn't see any snake, neither did we kill it. This should be our graveyard secret. I've given the skin back to Chike, and that's done and over with. Gosh! Gosh! Who would have thought of such possibility? You, you know she said the, the snake was coming to greet us. I, I almost feel guilty. Jerome, did I hear you just say guilty? Oh boy, not three mugs of beer you don't take. Where in this world, this whole wild world, have you ever heard of a snake coming to greet someone? You know, where? Not to talk of being a queen. You know what? We did what every sane human being out there would have done. Seeing a snake, seeing a serpent, the devil himself crawling, Jerome, around to hurt God's children. That's exactly what we did. Come on, man. Give me a handshake. Come on, man. That's what we did. My people. The palm knot has written at the tip of the palm fraud. Day has turned into night. Our men now sit at home while the women go to war. Adam. The fire of dissolution is burning. Soon we may be consumed. Consume. Igwe. Abogidi, have you seen or heard anything? Have the ghosts of our land revealed the whereabouts of our queen? Tell us, please. Igwe, Igwe, my elders, our queen is dead. Aye! She was murdered and defied. Igwe, our queen was humiliated. Impossible. How come? Our son, Igwe, who committed this heinous crime? And where was she buried? Igwe, she was not even honored with a prayer. Abomination! Sacrilege. Igwe, my elders, her flesh was sold to be eaten. Hey! Hey, Aloka, Aloka, even her skin. Hey, what? Her skin was also sold. Hey, 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 when I was told of this game, I had interest that you would sell abroad. But I thought it was a scheme from one of the soulless necks. Then the news reached me. But as soon as I laid my eyes on the skin, I knew it was the way. Ignorance. That was what happened. And the neglect by your daughter for not informing her betrothed of our culture and norms. Iwe, you speak with wisdom. Ignorance and neglect was exactly the problem. But you were, how do we remedy this situation? How do we remedy it? You know our custom and tradition. He has to come back here 
and give her a befitting burial. He will foot the bills of both the burial and the coronation. Wow. Ajay, you will. You have to travel to town with Ono and meet with him and explain to him what he has done. You will consider it done. First thing in the morning, we'll be on our way. Um, Cecilia, you know, I've been meaning to talk to you. Cecilia, just look at you. You've attained all necessary heights. You are educated. You've just finished school. You've served. And very soon, by God's grace, you will be employed. What are you, what are you still waiting for? I mean, you are not getting any younger. Sister, what do you want me to do? I mean, I can't practically force him to marry me. My dear, you cannot force him to marry you. But let him define his intentions towards you. You've been going out with this guy for a long time now. And he has not even said anything about his future plans. So what are you still doing with him? Why is he wasting your time? Sister, you know everything you've said now is correct. I've done practically everything there is to do. Hoping against hope that he could just do this on his own. My sweet sister, stop hoping and stop waiting. We are girls. We have limited time. And when that time elapses, our spotlight will just vanish and introduce another. We will just fade into thin air, just like that. When that happens, what will you do? Is that what you're saying is true? So what do you think I should do now, you know? Because you've just awoken my consciousness to this. You will go to Abuja. When you get there, free your mind from everything. Be cool with everything. Be at ease. Do the thing you're supposed to do. Be normal. Don't be confrontational about anything. Do the normal things you do in the house. Your normal chores. Put him in the right frame of mind. Not necessarily sex. You know the kind of things he likes, the way he likes his coffee in the morning? Why are you laughing? Do I look like a clown? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Experience is talking. Sister, so this is how you got my brother hooked up. Okay. Ah, look at the girl I'm trying to help. I see now. <laughs> Stay there and allow events to pass you by. Look, my dear. Men are very difficult to deal with. So you have to be in proper check. Proper check. -o. If you wait, <laughs> my dear. You will wait for a long time. Ladies, the food is taking too long. I, I'm so hungry here. It's taking eternity. Can you hurry up? <laughs> Did you hear that? My dear, another secret. The tummy is the main channel to get to them. Hmm. I have that in mind. I think I'm going to tell my brother that one. <laughs> Go on and reveal yourself to me. She comes from a very good family. Even your uncle can cause it. As for Cecil, she can't wait for the wedding. Mama, don't mind Cecil. She just wants another avenue to buy more clothes. Even so, you know Cecil loves Eve a lot. I noticed. I spoke with the Reverend about the date and he says it's okay. That's good news. Yeah. I can see happiness shooting all over you. <laughs> you see, that's what he with you, man. We'll be begging you to marry. Get married, get married. And you will say no. Once you pick it up, ah, you are so excited. See, 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 I, I don't want. Chonto, I don't want. So you, you, I will be done. You're very wicked. 
Ladies, can you serve us and continue with your girly gossips? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Mama's visit is really spoiling shows. After all, we are practically married. Yeah, yeah. If I have to spend the night at you, please. I have to stay with your sister in her room. Come on, we have to give your poor mother some respect. Besides, I have to be at work early enough. Because each time I spend the night in your place, I go to work late. And I don't want that. You know, you're a bad boy. Really? Yes. If I recall correctly, you equally enjoyed it. Please, 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 don't even start, okay? Because I know very soon you want to convince me to get into the house with me. Look at you. As if you won't be happy with such suggestion. Hmm? <laughs> in your dreams. I wouldn't have you see me as a wait on girl. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have to go. Oh, yeah. Sweet dreams. <laughs> Not to you. Pretty baby. Love you so much. Yo, baby. Big Daddy here got us some wine so we can go jiggy with it. You know what? Oh, Jesus! 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 I hope there's no problem. I mean, how is Mama? You didn't tell me you were coming. Hope there's no problem. My daughter, you were not informed of our visit. It was deliberate. Papa, I don't understand. Daughter, do you know him, or don't you? Yes, Papa. He's one of the elders in the chief's council. Mm, good. We came on a very sad mission. One of which, if nothing is done as a matter of urgency, could spare doom to the entire community. All right. But I still don't understand. You're scaring me. Uh, yes, my daughter. I like uh, that word that I'm scaring you. At least it will make you understand the gravity of the situation. <clears throat> the queen was murdered. What? Murdered? Murdered. She was murdered. Brutally murdered. Yes. And you know what? Alo Kalo. Her parts were sold for profit. Hey, who? Hey, God, oh God, I must have committed this heinous crime. <gasps> Your fiancé is the culprit. Jerome? Yes, if that is his name. And his friends were accomplices. What? God, I don't understand. This can be happening, I mean... Where? When? When did this happen? On the introduction day, he ran over the queen with his car and brought her carcass to the town and sold it. God, this is unbelievable. But he never mentioned anything like that to me. Hey. We must meet with him at once. Then I have to call him. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't call him. You take us to his house. He should not have pre knowledge of our visit. Um, my brothers, why? I can't just take you people to his house like that. My child, I brought you up in a very good way. Look at what you have done to 
Look at what you have done to. You are asking me why. Don't you think I have a reason for, for such decision? You are asking why. You, you, you don't know what is happening. Mm. Mm. Ah, uh, no, no, no. There's no problem. How about my sister? She's fine. She sends her greeting. Oh. Let me prepare some breakfast. No, 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 no. no, no. Okay, you should bring me sit down. Sit down. Papa, won't you fix something? Or... You see, our people said that until you unbottle that which fills your stomach, you cannot take another in. Yes. I hope there's no problem. My law, I'm afraid there is a very big problem. And it has to do with your son. My son? Mm. Even if he committed the act out of ignorance, he will still do restitution. 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 Charo, what is going on? Madonna, I don't know. It must confuse you. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should explain. Okay. The Igwe sent me to accompany this man. Yeah. You see, uh, our people have an age-long uh, custom and tradition. And some of these cultures and traditions are practiced all over Africa. But some of the custom and tradition are very peculiar and unique to our people. One of these uh, custom and tradition that is unique to our people is the reverence we give to a particular snake. Snake? Snake? Did I hear you say snake? Yes, my lord. We have a history that connects us with the snake beings. It's a very long story to tell now, but let's go straight to the bone of the matter. We have a python that we honor as a queen. And this python visits every household when a child is born and coys around the child to show that the child is accepted. Coys around a child? I... No, 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 no. Uh, I don't think this is true. No, it's true, madam. It's true. And uh, there, there is no child born in their family that such a thing does not happen to. Even every year was blessed by the queen. Blessed? Blessed? Ah. Yes. This is an act of blessing, seeing the queen spending greater part of her time playing with the children. It is a common sight to see the children all wrapped in her and she tickles them time to time, goes to the forest, bring animals for the children, which must be cooked for the children. Oh. This your story is absurd. Yes, you are right, my lord. But, but I want to ask you, hey. is there any part of Africa that does not have a, one or two unique practices? You see, let's forget about that one. Or let's talk of why we are here. Your son, Jerome, killed the way. Killed? 
Juro. Oh. Um, uh, yes, yes, it, it's true. But I, I didn't know about the tradition. Hey. You know, we did not doubt that uh, it's our daughter that should be blamed. You know, she's supposed to tell you everything about our culture. You know, children when they leave the village, they tend to forget the important part of our heritage. As much as I find it difficult to believe, I do not know what transpired. But I only say I see your point. We are Africans. Well, what is to be done? Since you admitted you did it out of ignorance. You see, when a queen dies, the entire village gives her a befitting fitting burial. But when a queen is killed by somebody, uh, that person will take care of the burial and show that the cost of uh, coronating the princess to become a queen. There's another one. Yes. Where there is a queen, there is a princess. The queen has to be buried and the coronation take place. Why did you write the Okay. How is the coronation and the burial? And how much is it going to cost? We are so we bring seven cows. Seven eagles. Seven bags of rice. And it's also required to provide 70 kegs of palm oil. You must pay for all the masquerade in a place to come and perform in the seven month long celebration to mark the burial and coronation of our queen. He must provide all these things each month for the seven months of the coronation. My son, you are, you are too hasty in talking. Well, you see, elders, I am just a woman, and as such, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have much to say in a matter like this. He will have to inform his king's men; they will do the talking. But this, I must say. Since you people have your own norms and traditions that, that are peculiar to your people, we also have ours. One of which is, if you see a snake, kill it. I'm serious. By that, you mean that your son will not perform the burial and coronation ceremony? I'm saying that I'm just a woman. I don't have any decision to take. He will inform his king's men. And they will get back to you people so you will know how to settle the matter. Hmm. And when do we hope to hear from your people? Uh, that will be very difficult to say. Since he needs to inform his king's men first. They will discuss and then get back to you and tell you the development. Okay, we'll be on our way. Mm. You know it's a weekday and uh, they are expected to go to work. No. Um, I know we have taken much of your time, my in-law. I hope I can still call you that. Well, 
a name, so long as it's not insulting, it can be answered by anybody. Okay, so we are hoping to hear from you people. Shall we? Um, Papa, I think I should just... Go. Yeah, I, I think you should just go with them. Let's go! Let's go! relatives in this house again. Do you hear me? Hmm? But, Mama... No, but I'd rather have you a bachelor than allow you marry a snake worshipper. Do I make myself clear? Mama, I, I still think... No arguments. Would you want to coronate or bury a snake? Your father will turn in his favor. So, Mama, are you saying I shouldn't inform my uncles? Of course! You should go ahead and inform them that the marriage is cancelled. That was how they left. It's not real palava. Because a rough estimate of what they're asking is going to go up nothing less than two million naira a month. Imagine. No, no. Can you imagine, Flex? Spending that kind of money to bury a snake. A snake! Do? Yeah, do. I don't have that kind of money. And by the way things are now, I don't think I'm willing to continue with this marriage. Even my mother stood against it. Um, Jerome, are you sure about that? Because that girl is a good girl. And good girls are like Diamonds, they are hard to find, very difficult to find. A good girl that worships snakes. She believes in snakes. Flex, she worships snakes. Now tell me, Flex, if you were in my shoes, will you be willing to continue with this marriage? In fact, my mother told me to call off the marriage. And you know what? I'm so glad. I'm so happy things turned out this way. Just, just imagine how it could have been if I was to discover about this evil practice after the wedding. Just picture it. So you're too informal, right? My people would. Well, um, what a sign. It's a wonderful and interesting relationship. Come on, bro. Drink up. Easy come, easy goes. Life goes on. Roll your boots, bro. Come on, man. Drink up. Oh. Felix. Hey! Taiko! Thank God you're at home. What's up, man? It's a good day. Thank God. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, come in, come in, come in, come in. Um, Felix. I and my elders are here to see you. Chicky. Whatever it is, I want to. <laughs> Felix, how could you say a thing like that? But you're already part of it. Won't you ask us to come in?
Felix, won't you ask us to sit down? Hey. Felix, you have not greeted my elders. Um, forgive me, sirs. It was an oversight. Good day. Uh, good day, son. Good day, my son. Please, please sit down. Felix, from your utterances, I can see you've spoken to your friend. And as such, you are aware of what is on the ground. Um, well, sir, yes, I saw Jerome, and he briefed me. But first, let me um, apologize for being not known. Oh, we accept your apology. Why not? We, we are not here to castigate you. Then why must Jerome pay such a huge price for what he did unintentionally? Why? Jerome? Sorry. Jerome is not the only guilty party. You are equally liable. Only participated in the killing. So you will share part of the blame. And as such, you'll be required to produce part of what is needed for the burial and the coronation. <laughs> I can't laugh. <laughs> so you make me laugh. <laughs> You know what? I don't have that kind of money. And even if I do, I have better pressing needs on my scale of preference to take care of than sit here and blab about snakes. Now listen. There is nothing that can be more pressing than this. Absolutely nothing. Now listen. The princess is waiting desperately to be coronated. Well, and she doesn't have much time. I tell you, patience is not one of her strong points. She will have to wait. She will have to wait, in fact, for eternity. Because neither Jerome nor myself will be performing any coronation. Any stupid coronation. Hey. Felix, you are taking this thing lightly. Do you know what will happen if the wind is not buried and the princess is not coronated? What? What will happen? No, tell me, what will happen? Will she take us to court for killing her mother? What? Oh, now listen to me. If it is taking you to court, it would have been easier. Eh, it would have been very easy taking you to court. If you don't, and after very little time, she will want you to that. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. You scare me. I'm scared, you know. I'm breaking into a never sweat. But listen, you take this message back to the princess that if she comes close, one inch close to myself or any of my friends, like her mother, we will kill her. And this time, we will use the skin to make belts, wallets, shoes, and even leather seats. Felix! What? Hey! Huh? Are you out of your mind? Do you know who you are referring to? I believe you don't know the kind of power she has. Okay, who's fire? Huh? 
Holy Ghost fire chicken. I bind each and every one of you. I bind all the snake people. I, I am a child of God. No weapon fashion against me shall prosper. No, if I, no fashion weapon against me shall prosper. I am greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In fact, chicken, I bind you. I bind you. Belize. Stop jumping up. Stop jumping. Listen to me. Listen to me. No weapon will be fashioned against you. These name people are good people, but you must do the right thing. Oh. You know the truth. Holy Ghost fire the truth. Holy Ghost fire the truth. Fire the truth ten times. In fact, fire all the kingdoms. Fire all the snakes. Felix! Enough of this rubbish. Are you out of your mind? Get out of my house, my You friend. are asking me and my to leave your house. Don't you have respect for red caps? You heard me right. Out. Hey! Felix, Felix, think about this deeply. You still have little time. Do what you're supposed to do because the repercussion is too much. You can't stand it. And with all due respect, sirs, that's the door. Let's leave. No problem. Felix. Chicken, go now, go now. Ah. No problem. I've heard. What do you intend to do? What else is there? He must stay away from that girl. The marriage is cancelled. Tell us what else to do, Mr. Woman. Now that you can make decisions for men. I'm not trying to make decisions, sir. I'm not. Oh, shut up. Jerem. Go ahead, I'm listening. I don't know. I definitely cannot afford what they say needs to be spent. Secondly, I'm a bit uncomfortable with performing rituals with snakes. I see your point. Jeez. But did you ask them if there's any other way? I, I didn't. I wanted to seek your advice first. Okay. This is what we must do. You will invite them over and we'll all sit down together and trash this issue. Okay, um, when would be okay for you? Tomorrow. I would prefer tomorrow's evening. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll make all the arrangements. And uh, thank you very much, Uncle. I'm grateful. But you haven't answered my question. Are you willing to perform the ritual if there is another way? Because I know you are going to undergo some sort of ritual or the other. Uncle, I don't think I'm ready to perform any ritual. I don't think it's right. What about your coming marriage? Don't you think it's going to affect it? I mean, your refusal to. Um, I, have, I haven't thought of that. What else is there to, to think about? Eh? Or would you want snake worshippers as in-laws? For all you have said, they revere some certain snake. Just as in other tribes, to revere one animal to the other. It does not mean that they worship it. You are a Christian, no? So they are. The question you should be asking, if the practice is contrary 
to our Christian faith. I know it is idolatry. But Lizzie, I would advise you to be a little bit more objective. Any practice that is against Christian faith is paganism. Paganism. If I may recollect, you made a pledge last year, isn't it? What was involved? You made sacrifices to our ancestral gods. Tell me, what sort of practice was that? By that statement, I know your journey was fruitless. Because each time you use that statement, things are not going on well. Um, what an hour will we should get there? How much an You guess right. Felix was white road. These boys do not know that they are playing with fire. If the princess should come after them. I know by now, Jerome will be considering if marrying me was the right thing to do. But I still love him, and I don't want anything bad to happen to him. It was my fault, really, because I didn't inform him. Well, my daughter, the worst of your fears has come to pass. There's no going back. The princess is known to be very aggressive. But this one is more aggressive. She has done things that are hard of. And as a princess, she's very hot tempered, quite hot tempered. There is no telling what she might do if this barrier and coronation fails to take place. In that case, let me, let, me, let me see, let me see, Jerome. At least I have to convince him to perform the ritual, right? I will say you talk to the friend. Mm, because from my observation, he's the one that has more fear. If you can speak to him and tell him the risk involved and the repercussions, I believe he can talk your fiancé into it. Papa, so after everything that happened, you still call him my fiancé? I like Jerome. I, I like him. It was unfortunate when we were talking to him. The mother who was there, she panicked and uh, made him not to believe what we are saying. But he's a good boy. I like him. Well, I, I know the only problem he'll be facing now is the amount. Because I know he doesn't have it. Maybe what I should do is, is collect a loan or something from the bank. At least uh, I can perform the ritual on his behalf, right? The princess will not accept it. Besides, Jerome must face the princess and plead for mercy. And he must lay the remains of her wing to the mother earth. It's simply impossible that you do that for him. I guess um, I have to see Felix then. Um, Eve, I am quite sure you're making this all up just to scale us into performing the sacrifices, huh? 
Alex, I wish I was. I love Jerome. Honestly, if I tell you I am not heartbroken over this whole issue, I'm lying. And the sad part of this whole thing is, ever since this incident started, Jerome has refused to pick up my calls. I called his mother, but she called me a witch and told me to stay off her son. Honestly, I don't want anything to happen to him. Besides, I'm pregnant for him. What? Does... Does he know? I mean, Jerome, does he know? No, he doesn't. I... I wanted to tell him at first, but I changed my mind because I didn't want it to look as if I was adding more pressure on him, you know. And you're sincerely not thinking about aborting the baby, are you? God forbid. I don't believe in abortion. Good. So what are we going to do? Well, I... I, I really don't know. But I'm afraid. Afraid of the first warning of the princess. Warning? Yes. Which warning? You know... The first warning, she appears to the people involved. Then the second warning, she starts to attack the members of the family of the people involved. Oh, Jesus! 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 I thought it was all a nightmare, but now that you said it, Eve, it is the warning. Oh. oh my god, oh my god, so she has started already, she's running out of patience, oh Jesus, look Felix, you guys have to do this thing. You guys have to perform these rituals. Honestly, I don't want anything to happen to you people. This issue is really, really very serious. Very serious. Very serious indeed. <laughs> so you believe that fable, eh? <laughs> Guys, listen. Have you asked yourself, are the snakes going to travel by air? Or take a bus to town to attack us? Guy, think I'm now. Think I'm. Now come to think of it. If the snakes are that powerful, how come we were able to kill their queen in the first place? Ask them. For me, eh, this whole story, my like Kekerike by Kent, where I came from, we eat snake. In fact, snake is our favorite meat. If anyone should show up in a week, I won't be spending a dime buying another meat. So for me, snake is nothing but a pure meat. <laughs> You know what? Let's attend the meeting. Let's hear them out first. You sure about that?
I know all I've said may sound strange and hard to believe. Even some may think that uh, we are cooking it up. But I assure you that everything I said is true. Elder, you've spoken very well. Thank you. We've heard you. First, we must apologize for the killing of the queen. The predicament that we are facing now are two. What must be done about the killing? And what is happening to the wedding of our children? My first question is this. Without the sacrifices, is it right to conclude that the wedding cannot hold? It's impossible to hold the wedding. Impossible. Is it important? I mean the sacrifices. What about the future of your daughter? Look, we are Africans. What makes us whom we are today is our culture and tradition. Evelyn is not ignorant of the way. She has played and even eaten the meat brought by the way. My people, we have danced around this issue and refused to touch it. You see, I'm a very practical man and a bit impatient sometimes. Now, I want to ask you a direct question. Are you ready to perform the sacrifices? Answer me! Jerome, you and your friends can answer this question. Well, Addis, with all due respect, I don't believe in snakes. Even Brad Fisher eats snakes on our table. Well, Red Captain Negus, if you must know, snake is my favorite meat. So them the snake stories. And well, well, well. I think I'll go with my friends. Under the influence of his mother, I know. That might be true. But I just want to tell you, and you know it, your relationship with him is fertile if he failed to perform the ritual. Yes. The greatest pain of Africa is the neglect of our culture for the Western ones. Hmm. Only God knows what will become of these boys. I want to to prepare because you are going with us to the village to mourn the, the miss of our queen. And uh, I don't need to tell you. You know that if you don't, the princess will come after you. So you better prepare. I, in that case, I, I just have to, I just have to get a leave in the office. Because as it is now, I can't even concentrate. Oh, God. I know how you feel, Jerome. I understand how you feel. How can you know how I feel when all your life you've been a player? You know how it feels to have loved someone, and because of one stupid tradition, you have to break it up. You don't know, you can never.
or no? Well, all hope is not lost. You can still make up things with her, you know. You wait till her parents go back to the village, then you go talk to her. Maybe after a suitable period of time, when the whole saga must have died down, you can marry her. I think you're right there. I was hoping on doing that. But I've not told her yet. I want to see her. Um, <clears throat> you know what? You wait till our people return to the village, then you can rule, okay? Well, guys, I have to be on my way because I'm on night duty. Guy, okay, chop knock. I can let that. <laughs> okay, you know it. what? Sometimes, uh, I just can't help but wonder how they got to employ a confirmed criminal as a police. Well, maybe because I have to arrest unconfirmed criminals like you guys. <laughs> well, Brad Fish, drink. Hey, Chris. Oh, no, yeah, man. Oh, See you guys oh. later, man. Jay, man. Jay. See you guys later. Jay, <laughs> Jerome. Jay. Princess of the land, I come to mourn the death of our mother. My heart is so heavy with grief. Where is your man? Where are his co conspirators? Where are they? Oh, great princess. I tremble at your wrath. I beg that you have mercy on me. You have done me no harm. I asked for your man and his friends. Why have they not come to make amends? I did all I could, but I could not convince them. Did you tell them the gravity of their crime? Were they not warned of the repercussions of such neglect? Oh, great princess, I, I told them, but they would not listen. Then, their stubbornness has decided their fate. Oh, great princess, I beg for mercy. I beg for my man. Please. They shall be shown as much mercy as they showed my mother. Your man shall be given a chance, a chance to do the right thing. He has the grace to be the last man, as he shall be the last to die. Go! Go! You have paid your respect to my mother. Go! I said go! doesn't correspond with that statement. OK. 
can you at least offer me a seat? You know what? I um, I'd rather you leave. I can't just deal with you now. Baby, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm very sorry about that episode involving both of our families. I'm truly sorry. I know how it feels. I... Sweetheart, can, can't we just put it behind us? And start afresh? Please, just... Let's, let's forget about everything and, and start afresh. You and I. Just the way it was. Please, baby. And how is that possible? How? How is that possible? You refused to perform the rituals. You broke the engagement. You! And your mother called me a witch and told me to stay off you. So tell me, how on earth is that going to be possible? Baby, forget them. Forget, forget about everything. Forget about the whole world. Sweetheart, you and I are all that matters. Yes. The sacrifice is the cause of our entire problem. Now look, we did not do it and we're still alive. You know what? I I want you to leave. It's over between us. I can't just deal with you now. I love you, yes, but it is not going to work. I believe in the adage that says, love me and love my dog. You can't love me and, and hate my people. It can't just work. Just go. I really don't want to make this any difficult. You're saying no. Is that it? I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me you're ending this relationship. You ended this long time ago. You! Remember, you can't eat your cake and have it. Jeremy, just go. What's up, sweetie? Where are you heading to? Listen, I'm just a gentleman. I saw a beautiful girl in distress and came to her aid. I am not in distress. Alright, fine. Maybe not in distress, okay? But for a sweet angel like you to be standing under this hot sun, it's, it's unfair, you know? Tell me where you're heading and I'll drop you. Wherever, okay? Just tell me, I'll drop you. Please don't say no.
So where are you heading to? I came to see my uncle, but he's not in town. I know not where to go now. Sorry about that. Um, in that case, why don't you just hang on with me till your uncle comes back? I promise you, you will enjoy my company and most of all, I'm possibly harmless. I know. You know what? That you're harmless. What? How could you know such a thing? You barely know me. What I do not know is not worth knowing. So, Professor, I didn't know I was sitting with a psychologist. Why don't you go to my house then? Okay. That's nice. Baby. Baby. Come on, that is hungry. she would travel with her father. Well, 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 don't you give up. Just keep at it. Eventually, you wear up our resistance. Trust me. I don't see the possibility. Why? The Eve I saw was a heartbroken woman with a resolution to carry on. In fact, she spelled it out clearly for me. It's either I do the sacrifice or nothing for us. Bobs, any day I decide on any woman, I swear to God the first thing I'll do is to interrogate her on her customs and traditions. <laughs> oh my God, just in case they are worshippers of hippopotamus, right? And one of the customs happens to be that you sleep, I mean, get jiggy jiggy with one of the um, animals. And they crease. <laughs> No, for real. I'm serious, too, man. Um, the girl you were with last Friday, what's her name? What's her name? Shadi. Shadi. If you ask Shadi, definitely they are worshippers of hippopotamus. That explains her size, you know? Oh, Robo Kipo. Oh, boy. Flex. That girl is extra large. Ababa. Why do you like them so? Come to your room. I go insert one, one bullet put on her legs. What is the worry? <laughs> Hello, Super. Sir. What? Ekelebe. How? All right, I'm on my way. Try to be sir. Office palaba, huh? We should wear. Brad is dead. What? What? Come on! Come on!
necessary. What have you found? The keys are a bit puzzling. How do you mean? He was dressed only on his boxers, suggesting he was relaxing at home. Those things on the bedsheet and on his boxers, I suspect to be semen. But there are no visible signs of bruises or violence. Just the two indications on his chest. What are those marks? I will say snake fangs. But you can be positive to your first marker and stand on the body. Asabi, the house lady, she came through the front door and she said she has her own set of keys. Yeah, she has my keys too. She cleans my house as well. Where is she? In the kitchen, I guess she's crying. Tell me it is not true. <laughs> Tell me there was a mistake. There was a mistake. Brad just can't die. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. How did the snake get into the house? And where is it? Where is the snake? See, Jerome, we have searched every nook and cranny of that apartment, but there is no sign of snakes. Show their conclusion. Those guys spoke lots of jargons. You see, the gist is Brad was in good health. There were no signs of bruises, wounds, suggesting violence. But now, the cause of his death is registered as venom from an African cobra. I want to interrogate Eve. Why? Have you forgotten about the threat? that the snake might come from us. I suspect somebody is staging this whole thing up to convince us. But if that be the case, I shall find out. <sighs> Give me a drink. I'll get you one.
You lied. I know no one by that name, Engineer Philip Megida. Um, sir, it was the only way I could convince your secretary to see you. Oh, I see. Well, um, your ploy worked. Now, what can I do for you? Um, I, uh, sir, I need a job. And I'm willing to do anything. I mean anything, if you give me one. Well, um, that's a bit difficult, you know. But, by the way, what are your qualifications? I have a master's in international relations and a degree in sociology. Okay. You're qualified. How about experiences? I, uh, I don't have any. Well, that would have gone a long way to help us here. Well, 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 I'm not making any promises, but I'll keep my ears to the ground, and if anything crops up, I'll let you pretty know, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> to go out with you tonight to celebrate. <laughs> celebrate what? I haven't gotten the job yet for you. It doesn't matter. I know you do your best. Yeah, you know that, right? So, what time shall we meet? Wow. Usually, I am the one arranging the beeps. This is absurd. Well, um, dear, I, um, you know, I will, we, I will be meeting with my friends in my apartment later tonight. We lost a friend. I would love it if you can make it. I leave her at number... I'll be there. I'll be there. I haven't told you where I live yet. There is very little I do not know about you. <laughs> and, um, well, 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 if there is little you do not know about me, uh -huh. let's say you make it on time then, so we can get to know each other properly. You know, sure. Get jiggy ready before others arrive, you know. Are we there? Uh-huh. Be there. You'll be there, huh? You Bye. Bye. On time, huh? Grab this woman has given you. I brought him to do deliverance. Let me see if I get this straight. You brought him here to deliver me from here. Holy my God. Exactly. Thank God for the snake incident. It revealed who she really is. An eye opener. Well, Mama, I'm sorry. I'm in a haste. I'm going for a wake up now. Jesus Christ. 
Son, that's the more reason you need this deliverance. Another time. Mama, shut the door after you. There are drinks in the fridge. You can entertain. For now, I have to go. Gerald! Madam, take it easy. There's a spiritual battle going on. He will be delivered. Just take it easy. He will be delivered. Did you give me this? Come on. How could I have given you that when I am? Um... Just stop me. It's your body during the call. Hi, Flix. I hope you have a cold beer in your fridge. I am nice and thirsty. Don't bother the things. Hi, Flix. I hope you have a cold beer in your fridge. I'm nice and thirsty. What? Cold. I told you not to bother. you come over. I have something special for you. <laughs> what do you take me for? The door is locked. Remember, I still have the key. Come on, Felix. That's not how to treat a lady. the venom of a snake works. I heard it's very, very painful. Please, please, I don't want to die. Please, whatever you want to get. Come 
Come on. Timon, can you hear me? Timon, can you hear me? Listen, listen. Send some of your men to Flex's place. Flex is in trouble. He's being attacked right now as I speak to you. Yes, yes. I'm turning right now. I'm heading towards this place. Just send some of your men over there right now. Timon, did you hear what I said? Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God. Oh Jesus, what? What, what, what is this? What is this? Careful, man. Jesus Christ. It's okay.
what do you want me to say to you? I told you I was in my house till you came to arrest me. You can't be in your house while Brad and Felix die of snake bites. You think I killed them? Do you think that I willfully killed them? Is that it? I am not a snake. You are a snake worshipper. So you must know what happened. Remember you threatened us that we will be attacked by snakes. For your information, I never threatened anyone. All I did was to warn you guys that this might happen. But none of you listened to me. <laughs> now you have the F on tree to, to accuse me for their death? Come on, I am the 21st century. Such mumbo jumbles does not exist. Pizzas! So tell me, Tima, how did they die? How? You know what? I have had it up to here. This is it. If you want to arrest me for murder, be my guest. Come on, I know my rights in this country. I am entitled to a lawyer. I want to call my lawyer. From now onwards, you speak to my lawyer. Wow. So this is how you want to play it, huh? It's okay. I've got your number. And we shall really do the tango. Come on, Timon. Timon, I told you I didn't do this. I never killed these guys. Why would you believe me? Because this is a city. A developed city. Snakes, cobras don't roam about the city. We only find them in zoos. So, if people are dying of snake bites, someone must have brought them into the city and that person is you. God performed sanctification on your home. We prayed all night for your return. You even refused to pick my calls. What kind of irresponsibility is that? Eh? Mama, right now I am tired and upset. I've not slept a wink from the moment I left this house till now. Can you imagine? We are here waiting for you, and you were out there clubbing. Mama, please, please, leave me alone. trying to protect my son but if he feels he's now grown up and can open his mouth and speak to me as he pleases then so be it I am going don't worry I will never come to bother him anymore why are you trying to make things worse than they are already how can things be worse than they were I paid the man of God to Pray for you day and night. Things can never be worse. Well, it didn't do Brad and Felix any good. Brad and Felix? I thought you said we were going for Brad's waking. What happened to Felix? He was, he 
was already dead. And we got there, beaten by a snake. Jesus Christ. Hey! this animal in human body. But who are you? And how did you get into my house? Is that how you speak to your princess? I reverend you, my princess. I have a good mind to put you on my vengeance list. After all, you brought them Now you're all mushy. Look, I'm starving. Come feed me. Go there later, after we are done here. This way doesn't look like the way to a prophet's church. We are going to see the witch doctor. They said he's the best. Number one. Aka, aka, aka. Let's go. Mama, you, you mean you're taking me to a witch doctor? And you still take me to a prophet? Exactly. Eh? They call it Double protection. Double silencer. <laughs> Let's hurry. We're Mama, almost there. You're wrong. You're, you're very wrong. You are the one that is wrong. I'm, I'm right. Mama, you don't know what you're doing. Bah, I know. I hope I've made myself clear. Perfectly clear. Oh, princess. Good. Now, they are almost here. I don't care how much you flee off the mother. Just make sure you do as I say. Princess. Your wish is my command. Officer, what is this thing about harassment by you? Sir, I, I was only interrogating her. You call it interrogation? Her lawyer calls it harassment. And what is this thing about snake biting your ass or shit? That is why I was interrogating her. By her! Is she a snake charmer or something? And by the way, autopsy report has it that both of them died of snake bite. Yes, sir. She threatened us all with snake attack. Including you? Yes, sir. Sit down. Thanks. Why don't you tell me all about it? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Take a day. Do you 
Woman, take this. This is called Ugumagana. You change his color every time. Off for you, you for your Have it, nothing will happen to you. Mm -hmm. My son, come and have this. Huh? Make sure you have it with you all the time. You have to take one and give one to your friend. No, thanks. I don't think I'm comfortable using charms. Oh, Bruno D. When your man he I didn't know that. Why didn't waste my time? He who knows that he's a and you see small does not swallow an odala seed. You are the one at fault. You killed the queen and refused to do restitution. Don't you see Amadio, her wife, is annoyed with you? You killed her mate. That's Amadio, her wife? Yes. She's annoyed with you because you killed her mate. Now, you see that justice is on their side. I think you are yet to comprehend with the powers of the spirit you are dealing with. Eh? Hey, sit down. Let me warn him finish. Look, what a dollar. Then he hear me. The date of your friends have not taught you a lesson. Have this. Wise one. Mm. Please. He's only being childish. You know how it is. When you send them to school, they feel they know it all. Just because of you. Thank you. Akalante, Nanti Ego. You come here to argue with me. Eh? Hey? You can go. Is that all? Yes, you can go. Say good day. Say good day. I'm looking for the Reverend Father. I want to see it. It's very important. Sorry, he went out. Thank God. Well, where has he gone to? Where, where, where can I find him? Where, 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 where should I come back or something? Calm down, sister. Calm down. You look so distressed. What ails you? Uh, um, you, you know, if she finds out that I, that I came to see you people, only God knows what she's going to do to me. If who finds out? Please talk to me. I don't understand. Um, she... she Hey God, what am I even doing here? Thank you very much for your time. So that is why she is my prime suspect. I don't know how she did it. But oh, she managed to get him beaten by a snake. Officer. Sir. Have you heard of uh, snake charmers? I can't say I have. Mm. Some few months back, there was this friend of mine who had problem of snakes in his house. He called for the services of this particular man. I happened to have gone to his house that day and what I saw, I still cannot believe. What was it that you saw, sir? The man came with an empty sack, made some incantations and started blowing his flute. Then after a while he said, that there were so many snakes in this house and he needed more money. <laughs> that was tricky. Or so I thought. But when my friend agreed to the new amount, 
the man continued. And then from nowhere, snakes. Snakes! Brown, black, yellow, green. Snakes! People ran. People took to their heels. I had my gun. And I wanted to shoot. But the man shook his head frantically and said no. And at the end of the day, he picked 200 snakes. 200 snakes. That must be a trick. Hypnotism or something. Like I said, I still cannot believe what I saw. But after that day, my friend said he had no problem of snakes in his house again. That's quite serious. I think it's worth investigating. Officer, I think you should meet this man. I will get you his number. Sir, with all due respect, this is the 21st century, the jet age, and you are a police officer who deals with facts. I mean, how can you marry these two ideas? <laughs> officer, I am all that you say that I am. I also know the times that we are in. But I am an African man. And I know that there are certain things in Africa that Western science cannot explain. You're right, sir. So you go and meet him. I will text this number to you. With all your due respect, sir. Mama. Why would I push you? Why? Eh? I have told you. I must get power from both God and Juju. Oh my God. You know they say, one doctor does not treat a freeborn. You are my freeborn, my son. Freeborn! Eh? Let's go! This is unbelievable! Yeah. Mama, this is insane, Mama! I don't understand what you're doing! <laughs> Mama, Mama, how do you relate to the part of the Bible that says man shall serve God and not mammon? Shut up! Oh. Shut up! You are quoting the Bible to me. Why did you start reading the Bible? When? Why? This way. This way. Look at me. Just look at me. At my age, I had to climb these hills. Just because of you, I could easily get stroke. 
for your sake. And you're here quoting the See, we are going to see the man just across this hill. Over there. We're almost there. So, let's get done with this. Quick! Quick! M Mama, I can't. <laughs> Please, sir. Please, sir. I love him so much. I really do. I, I, I know what he did was very bad. But I don't want him to die. Please. So, what do you want me to do? As a growing up child, I had the only people the snakes are afraid of are the snake charmers. Fear is an understatement. They detect us, and we are immune to their powers. So, can, can, can you save his life? I mean, can you help? Can you help me? Please. It is possible, but not easy and without danger. The snake beings are devious creatures. They are seductive, dreadful, and very dangerous. So, sir, are you saying you can do nothing? I can do a few things. Oh, thank God. For starters, I will give you a charm that will protect you and all consigned. But that is temporary. They will wait patiently until you are lured by the apparent quietness. The only solution is confrontation. Ah. Come in. You are a lover of peace. You! Yes! I knew you had a hand in this. What are you doing here? Young man, where are your manners? You don't walk into my house and be rude to my guest. Who are you and what do you want? He's the policeman I told you about. The only surviving friend of my man. Oh, you've already told him about me. I see. That means both of you must be here for the same reason. So why don't you sit down? No. I'll rather stand. I didn't come here for the same reason with this, this, this treacherous woman. Well, she is here looking for a way to protect her man and you. If you are here looking for a different thing, I suggest you go and come back another time. As you can see, I am busy. Ellie! 
After you next. And I shall keep my gun all you don't good for her. Guns are useless. Listen to me. Until you stop thinking in terms of natural, you shall continue to be in danger. Timon, just keep your pride aside and listen to him. We came to him for solution and, and not the other way around. Shut, Shut up! Shut up! She'll come after me. What next? You have to confront her. I can help by luring her out. But you have to do the rest. By that you mean killing her? <laughs> that I'll gladly do. It is not as easy as it sounds. She said she was in her house when she got home yesterday. So Eve, you have been withholding information from an officer of the law, an officer of the Federal Republic, you know what? I have had it up to here. You and Jerome can go to hell for all I care. If she kills you, I will gladly mourn you and I shall leave. If you want to arrest me, go ahead. Be my guest. Please, sir. I'm sorry to have bothered you. They're not worth the trouble. I'll You are a disgrace to your clan. You shall pay for this betrayal. You shall pay dearly. Now drive. I said drive. 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 You shall pay. Drive. Like, you 
Why didn't you tell me it was the chant you needed? Don't be stupid. Don't you know the chanting prevented us from the snake attack? I would have known that. How? Look, I'm almost went out of patience with your attitude. And you? Huh? Yes. Hurry to your man and give him the chant too. Okay. The snake being are uh, furious now. They will attack day and night. And all of you must wear the charm all the time. Come, and I will give you one for yourself and one for your man. Okay, I need it. Because... That man is a pure fraud. I, I, I don't know why you gave him the money. But you're wrong. He comes highly recommended. All my friends come to me for one reason or the other. I don't know why you're finding fault with him. It's a bloody waste. Hello? Simon? Yeah, uh, Jerome. How far? Listen, wind up your glasses now. Don't argue with me. I don't understand. Just do as I say. Wind up your glasses. All right, just wind up. Okay, 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 okay. All right. I'm winding them. asked us to warn you. I guess the warning just came in time. It appeared out of the thin air. It would have killed us. Well, let's thank God you didn't die. All you have is headache. Our mom just broke a tooth. We have a chairman who's going to protect us in the interim until we find a way to end this. Eve. Thank you. I'm so sorry for putting you through all this. There's no need to apologize. After all, if you had not proposed to me and come to my village, none of this would have happened to you. I'm sorry. Jesus. If, if only I had known it would come to this, I would have just done what was asked of me. I've just done it. Hmm. Mama, so all these things you, you just told me, they really happened. My child, just as I've told you, that's the way it all happened. As I'm talking to you now, Brad and Felix are no more. She killed both of them. Hmm. You know, for me to even think, to think it in my head that Sister Eve can hurt a fly. For me just to conceive that idea is impossible. My dear, that's why you're a child. You can't judge a book from the cover. Life is deeper than what we see. Very mysterious. Very, very. This is a very serious issue, Mama. Very serious indeed. I think we have to go to my pastor. Don't bother yourself about all that. I've taken care of it. Mama, I hope it's not one of those your white girl in churches. <laughs> you may call it whatever you like, my child. But 
you must know that that man is the reason you are still alive. I reject it. Oh my God forbid. Ah ah. Okay. Will you shut up? Shut up your mouth. No, I, I, I won't shut up. Oh. Ah, why will I shut up? Brother, are you not saying anything? Just like you. He's still a child. What does he know? Aside that, I have also gone to a very strong native daughter to get some protective charms so that whichever way they come, we are doubly ready. Mama, Jesus has called. Ah! So, you are now my mother and I am your child, isn't it? Jerome, you sit down there and listen to your sister insult me. Mama, I'm not insulting you. I have I insulted you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I hope you are wearing those chaps. I hope you are wearing If you are not wearing them, you better come and wear them. Eh? You better come and wear them. I don't want anything to happen to you. My only son. I am not the one to bury you. You are the one to bury me. I will not bury you. Getting me angry. Angry? Imagine them encroaching on my land. You don't allow them to do such a thing, to collect your land from you. I have all the time to check my land, and that's why I'm here today. Find a solution to it, Fred. Let me get a picture and go to the office. Hurry up. Okay. All right. for a handsome man like you to come and give me a helping hand, sir. Really? How may I be a help to you there? You can start by helping you. Please. Oh, my pleasure to touch such a beautiful hand like this. Come on, honey. seen in life. Mama, even if I've not seen anything, at least I know that it's only God that protects. Brother, brother, please follow me to my pastor. Let's go. Jerome has had enough protection. He's not going anywhere. Listen, I don't want to hear your voice again. Do you understand me? Jerome, tomorrow you go with me. Hmm? Jerome is not going anywhere. You, brother, you're going to follow me to my pastor. Mama, please, we're not going to stop all these fetish ways. So you have now grown. You've grown enough to talk back at me. Hey, Cecilia, you now tell me what to do. Mama, you know what the Bible says? That you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Ah, ah. Okay, okay, tell me now. Let me know, Mama. Since, since when we're small like this, so they're going to native doctor. Since, since, since. 
Tell me, what meaningful changes have you achieved? Jerome, warn your sister. Warn her if I lay a curse on her, eh? It will come to pass. Warn her! Miss Bible preacher, didn't your Bible tell you to respect your parents? Eh? Mama, the Bible didn't say that we should respect our parents if what they are doing is not correct. There is no place in the Bible where they say that. See, when I was a child, I reasoned like a child. Now I'm grown up. I'm big. So I have to reason like an adult. All, all these things you've been doing over the years, they are not good. But at least, but I just, just follow me. Come with me to my pastor. My pastor is a very strong man. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with both of you? You people let me be. What is all this for God's sake? Mama wants to take me to a Jujuma. Oh, 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 had already taken me. Look, look at my body. Just look at what I am wearing all over my body, carrying around some, some fetish things that I don't believe in. Huh? And now you've come with going to see your pastor. Huh? For deliverance. Did I tell any of you that anything is wrong with me? Did I? Instead of talking about Uncle Emmanuel who is there, you're here giving giving me restless moments. I can't have peace of mind. What is this? What do you women want from me? This is nonsense. I can't take this anymore. This is it, okay? Enough of this nonsense. Do you, do you want me to go insane? Look, Mama, you can go to your juju house. Or, or better still, your wife come in church. And, and Cecil, you can go to your pastor or whoever you think you believe in. Nobody should tell me anything about going anywhere in this house again. I'm done with this nonsense. Please. Come back here, Jerome. Am I understood? my condolences on the loss of your uncle. It didn't occur to me that he was in danger. Everybody who knows about this is in danger. Till we confront her, nobody is safe. Like, I mean, how are we supposed to confront her? How are we supposed to know when or where she will appear? Well, she travels like the wind, but we will trap her. It involves you, and I must warn you, it is dangerous. So, um, what is expected of me? Like, what do I do? You return to your house alone, without any protection of the charm. What are you talking about? If she does, the princess will surely kill her. She will attack her. Even punish her. But she cannot kill her. I don't understand. What do you mean? Because, unlike the rest of us here, she's from the place and was presented as a kid to the snake shrine. So how does that stop her from being killed by the snake? Snake never attack people from their place. She is immune to her venom. Yes, that's true. 
The snakes have never killed anybody from our place. Even here in town, I, I pick up snakes and they don't have me. No, okay, fine. No problem. Let's, let's say she cannot be harmed. How will the plan work? The princess will force her into cooperating with her in destroying you. Then she will pretend to agree to that and lure the snake to a rendezvous. Then I can trap her. Just like that. Just like that. Would that work? Finish. I'll do it. What? Come on, honey. It's okay. It's fine. I'll do it. holding her. Listen, I, I suspect something must have happened to that girl. Listen, let's work this man. I don't know. He's confident it will work. What? Is she around? That's the problem. She's not here. And we suspect something must have happened to her. She will come, the patient. Come, you're so For all we know, she might have been attacked. That is impossible. Just relax. I should relax. They will eventually come. This is this is, this this was a wrong idea. I knew it. I knew. I should have said no. Prodigal daughter, how can you turn your back on your own? Please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, honestly, I am. Please, don't hurt me anymore. I am ready to do anything you want me to do, please. Good. Now, you must lure your man to a place where I can attack him. I don't know where. To a place where he wouldn't suspect anything strange. I, I, um, please just don't tell me my princess. Where, where, where can that be? How would I know? Do I follow 
you both when you do your mating? Call him and tell him to meet you somewhere you both usually go alone. Good. I knew this was a bad idea. I knew it. <laughs> Stop it! No! Jesus! What was that? Take the call. Hello? 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 Hi. Get ready. Huh? Okay. What do we do? When he comes, make sure you cut that charm he wears. Is there? I don't know, she's behind those bushes. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. She's so horrible. Baby. Yes. Don't worry, okay? Everything will soon be over. Alright? Trust me. I believe you. Yes, you did well. And she said I should cut the charm around your wrist and throw it away. Almost over, trust me. your end today. You can't harm me. You can't harm me. I have a charm. You have a fake one. <laughs> no. Come no. Come no. Come here. 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 I am the tortoise. Hey, I to Hey, 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 Oh my God. What do we do? 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 What
Who was that? Which one of them? The three? I don't know. Which one is the real one? I don't know. I think she just stabbed all of them. And you have to do it before the snake camera runs out of breath. You know they are hypnotized by his chance. Until he stops, they are helpless. Do it! Do it! Do it! Here we go. God help me. Do it! Oh, do it! Oh, do it! Oh, do it! Oh, do it!
is a hospital. Wherever it is, I don't care. I don't care. Somebody should tell this witch of a woman that the one she has done is enough. It is just okay. Ah! Uh -huh. Not to finish everybody here. Mama, what is wrong with you? What? Let me make this clear to you now. You, my mother, all right. Your position as my mother can never be changed. Oh. And I adore you as my mother. Cecile here is my sister. And the love I have for her is a love from a brother to a sister. But even is my wife. Ooh. My better half. Ha! The bone of my bone, the flesh of my flesh. Hey! Mama, never ever come between Evelyn and I. Because she will never come between you and I. And she will never come between Cecile and I. Just leave her alone. Nothing you do will make me leave her. Nothing. Now, let me drive you home because I'm going home too. Please. She has bewitched you. She has bewitched you with her snake powers. Nobody did anything to me. Please, let's go. She has bewitched you. Ah. Hell, she has bewitched my son. Mama, nobody bewitched me. Please. She has bewitched my son with her oh, snake, snake powers. She has been wishing you with that. Mama, nobody hey! did anything to me. Yeah, no more. You, you're disturbing the entire house. Yeah, no more. You have been. Mama. I will sit on the end of this matter. Nothing more. I will sit on the end of this matter. Mama, please. I will sit on the end of this matter. Mama, go now. I will not let this. This is a hospital. Please. Mama, 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 the most important thing is that your man loves you. You know my brother loves you very much. And I do too. Sister, you know that. I'm sorry about you. Our big sis, you know with your condition now you need someone to look after you. You know, there are some things you shouldn't be doing anymore. And that's where I come in. You know, I have to do some things for you. Cecilia, I know all that. I know. But I feel it's right for me to stay in my house till I deliver. Though your brother has been so persuasive for me to come back to the house. But I told him no, bluntly. Because... I don't want it to look as if I'm a very desperate woman or I want to tie a man down because of my condition. Look, I am a working class lady. I work to earn my money. I have a house of my own and I can take care of myself. And I know God is going to see me through. Big says I know. But you know Mama is very sorry for all the things she said to you earlier on. You know that. eh? You know how mothers are. They always look for someone to put the blame on when they know they are the ones who are wrong. They always want the child to be the one to apologize. But sister, you know how eager Mama is wanting to have a grandchild? Please, she is praying so hard. Cecilia, I know, I know all that. Uh -uh. Seriously, I hold no grudges against Mama. I don't. Okay, I'll give it a thought tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cecilia, you want to hug my baby? No. I don't know your plan. No. I'm beginning to suspect you. Seriously. Eh? Wait, let me just tell you. I'm going to stay here for some time. Don't just think that you're going to get rid of me so soon. Because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> no problem. No hard feelings. <laughs>
More gifts. Yes. Yeah. More gifts, Mama. You want to spoil them with gifts? Look who's talking. I saw you leaving the supermarket laden with gifts. Hmm? But that's different. How? It is my duty to spoil my granddaughter rotten with gifts. And it's my responsibility to provide the best of life for my wife and child. <laughs> Mama said there is nothing to worry about. But some babies don't like breast milk. Hmm? I guess my baby is one of them. <laughs> oh, it's not that. She doesn't even like tin milk. And it's two days now. Don't worry. I, I know my girl. When she's nice hungry, she would scream for food. <laughs> hmm? I guess uh, she's trying to stay sexy. Probably she will be a model. You know, my mom has always wanted a granddaughter. Now you're making me feel guilty. Forgive me if I'm making you feel guilty. It's just that I made a choice and there's no other person I could blame for it except myself. Can you go again? Why are you blaming yourself? Hmm? You know, my parents can't even see their grandchild. It hurts. Look, we've been praying about it. And let's not give up. The miracle still happens, you know. Big says, when do you and your husband intend to take my little niece to the church for dedication? Um, seriously, we've not um, talked about all that yet. Please, oh, I need to know. You know, I'm going back to Abuja in the next two days. I don't want to miss that, not even for a million bucks. You know what? My advice to you is travel to Abuja. Because I have to take favor to my hometown. You know, due to our tradition and circumstances surrounding her birth, I have to take her to see my parents so that things could be put straight. This is your Christian now, ain't you? All these traditional ways, all these things, they are old fashioned. I mean, don't you think so? You know what, Cecilia? You will not understand, really. In my family, we are devoted custodians of our ancient tradition. It doesn't mean we are not Christians. <laughs> no, I disagree with that, sister. Uh -uh. That's like serving God and mammon together. <laughs> you know the Bible condemns that. You know what the Bible says. We should have only one God and Him alone should we serve. <laughs> I know all that. You don't need to lecture me. Like I said before, you will not understand. Really, I, I, I wish I have a choice here. You know, all these things have been in existence even before the existence of our forefathers. You know, I, I, I really need to know. I've, I've not asked you this before. How did all this start? What, what, what happened? What transpired? And has, has there really been any situation in the, in the past, you know, where such a thing occurred? Well, yes. But we never witnessed any of it. We were told the story, you know. We never doubted any of it because we know it's true. Really? So, can you tell me the story? Hmm, God. You know, this is one thing I have feared to talk about. And now you... Okay, I'll tell you the story. But are you really sure you want to hear this? Of course. 
I really want to hear. I want to know. You know, it started many years ago when the world was still young. All those days, our ancestors were still alive. Those were the days when fear was still in man. You know the consequences of somebody who kills Python in this village. The person must bury it. Serve the shrine with all his generations. So we are going back to my village now before people get to know it. Eh? Let's go. Let's go. Igwe! 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 Hey, hey, hey. What is it? I want to talk to the Igwe. Somebody committed an abomination. What abomination are you talking about? Please call me the Igwe and stop asking me questions. Or are you not the Igwe? What is this problem that makes you disturb my rest this day? What is it? Igwe, an abomination. A sacrilege has been committed by one of the sons of our daughter. And his family is on the run. What sacrilege? Igwe, the python is dead. Hey! And Iwobu is on the run. I said he killed the queen python, Igwe. Iwobu, the son of our daughter. Yes, Igwe. Hey! Right now, he and his wife are on the run. I heard him telling his wife that they should run back to his village. Obiako, Igwe. Go now and call me the chief priest. And from there, you go to the town crier. Tell him to call my royal council. Let them come to the palace immediately. Hey! Where's the father? He's at home. He's at home now. What's the problem? You look as one that I've seen the nakedness of the forefathers. Peace be unto you. A man has a right to return to his father's house, doesn't he? Mm, I know, but the look on your face shows trouble. How is your wife and children? I hope they're okay. They're okay. Extend my greeting to them. He must come he back. Come back. Gabriel will come back. back. He will will back. Come back. I will not die for him. Come back. Gabriel will come back. Hey, that's him. He will come back. He must come back. An abomination has been committed in our land. And this so talks, talks, and talks, and talks cannot bring solution. All we are here for is for a way forward. He will. We all are custodians of our great tradition. And no one amongst us here, we say he has no knowledge of our history and the reverence of our sacred python. Ugumba here, who is also 
Nwogugu's uncle knows it. And Nwogugu knows it too. And now he is on the run. What do we do? Ask him. Ugumba, what do we do now that Nwogugu is on the run? Ask him. Igwe. Ugumba. Mwadike. Nwogugu is also your brother. I salute all of you. I thank you all, at least for giving me the chance to talk. No child ever cries without a cause. We all know what happens when our queen is killed by anyone. Yes, we all know the law. We all know the law of this land. And now that your nephew has done what he did and ran away, what do we do is the question, Ugumba. Ugumba, what do we do? I will not die for him. Elders, we are not here to fight amongst ourselves. We are here to save ourselves and our land from impending danger. If we don't do the right thing. Hmm? That is why we are here. Is there more? Tell us. Igwe. There's a more. Elders of our land. There's a more. I salute you all. This tradition was passed on to me by my father. And my father from his own father. And his own father from his own father. He shall never get to me and drop. May the gods forbid that. Ezemo, what we are asking now is, what do we do? Why, DK? Ezemo, do never cut me short or I shall invoke your hand on you. Ezemo, 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 please. I'm sorry. The eye of the gods. Don't allow your anger overtake you and us. Your peace. Tell us. I'm sorry, sir. Yes. Igwe, the eye of the gods, the laws of this land is clear. Whosoever kills the queen must bury it and see to the coronation of the princess <coughs> and the seven moon ceremony that follows it. Igwe, there's a more. This is an exception. My nephew did it unknowingly. He did what unknowingly. Elders, Ezemo has told us what should be done. But he did not say anything. The Lord did not say anything about someone who makes mistake or who cares by mistake. So, Ezemo, continue. Ugumba, Ezemo, your nephew Mogugu must come back and face the consequences of his act or a great danger shall befall this land and him. <laughs> People should be sent to his Igwe. Mogugu must come back. He too is of our own. Let us all settle things as tradition demands. Igwe has spoken. There's a more. Igwe, I don't see what should be settled here. My nephew killed the queen. Unknowingly, he was clearing his fame. How would he have known that the queen was in the ground? Eh? Igwe, let us look at this critically, so as not to uh, uh, punish an innocent man. Ugumba, the laws of our land had nobody in mind when they were made, and the law says. That any person who kills the queen, knowingly or unknowingly, must do all that is required for both the burial and the coronation of the princess. Or do you want the princess to come after him? Uwumba, don't forget that you are not left out of this. You are his blood. Igwe. Madike. Eh? Whoa, is also your blood. He is your blood. Go and bring him back. 
I know the tradition of this land. But what I'm saying is that anyone that harms the queen unknowingly, the law did not say what. We cannot imply the law on him. I am not saying because he's my nephew. Every one of you here knows me. I can say this anywhere, anytime, when I am called upon. I will not you die his death for, for him. him. In this case. The gentle stride of the tiger is not cowardice. I am now going to take my verdict and it is final. I am going to send a message to the king of Uzama. He is my friend. Let Come back here uh -huh. and answer to his cry. Thank you very much. And that is final. Igwe. Igwe. Igwe Ikedi of Uzawa. As a more, may your reign bring forth wealth in abundance and peace and coexistence between us all. As a more, the eye that see true to the spirit land. May you are come and bring peace to this great land of Ozawa and to your own land too. Because he who wishes well for himself does the same to his kinsmen. Igwe, may you reign as long as your fathers did. Igwe, you've known me for a very long time now. I am not a man of many words. What brought my kinsmen and I to your royal palace today is of great importance and should be treated as such. As a more, say your grievances. You are making me impatient. And I cannot continue on this footing. Igwe, one of your sons that happens to be a son to one of our daughters committed a great sacrilege. He killed our sacred python. The Igwe of my clan detailed I and my kinsmen here to seek you and know what you have to say. Ezemwo, Igwe, the members of Ezemwo's entourage, my kinsmen, I salute all of you. Igwe, Konye Chinyaze. You have heard what Ezemwo has to say, finally. He said that one of our sons killed their sacred python. I want to ask some questions. Ezemwo, what I want to know is, did he do it deliberately? Two, what are the consequences of such action? Igwe Ikedi, may you reign long on your throne. The answer to your question is no, he did not. But the laws of our land cover not anybody, knowingly or unknowingly, who committed such act. The penalty is the same. The queen must be buried and the princess coronated. And there are things that are required of such person who committed such sacrilegious act. He shall provide seven cows, Good. seven white he goats, Good. seven white cocks, Good. seven loaves of cola nut, Good. seven loaves of alligator pepper, Good. seven bags of curry. Those are the things that are required for the burial of the queen and the coronation of the princess for the seven moon long celebration that goes with it. Igwe. Um, as a more, I have heard you. I have heard you very well.
As I lose I greet you. I salute you too. As a more. A great sacrilege is looming. So abominable that if it is committed, our ancestors will turn in their graves. We all are mouthpiece and protectors of our different clans. And as such, are obligated to preserve our ancestral touch. I have spoken the mind of my ancestors. Alabai, kwa aladike. Nionye metere chekwe ye. Alabai, kwa aladike. Nionye metere chekwe ye. Nionye woro niwe, akwaro. Nionye metere chekwe ye. These are your mother's kinsmen. They have come here from afar to complain that you, Ngogugu, killed their sacred python. Is it true? If it is true, how did it happen? If we get deal, my elders, Ezemo, my son, my mother's kinsmen, Adiana. I salute you all. It's true that the python died in my hand, but not by my making. Igwe, I didn't deliberately kill it. Sit down. That is all what we want to confirm from you. Thank you. We, the people of Uzaba, we are not ignorant of your traditions. We have our own traditions too. Oh, can't you more time? We kill snakes and eat them. Haru! Hey! Hey! Haru! Mwankwa! You say this! Uh, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Mwankwa, you've spoken well. Igwe! Yes. Hey. Abomination, Igwe! You cannot be in your house and be in my house at the same time. It's alright, it's alright. You've spoken well. Igwe! Nobody sees a fire and knowing fully well that this fire burns puts his hand into it. This is a very difficult time for me. I have been getting warning from my ancestors, even right now that you people are here. I want to ask, is there any other way we can appease your land? Igwe, there are no other forms or ways that these sacrifices can be performed except the ones I've said. Oh. Mm -hmm. And so it must be. Simple. As you can see, my hands are tied. <coughs> yeah, because no son of Ozawa will bury a snake. It has not happened before. Yes, it has not happened before. And it will not happen now that I am the king of Ozawa. Hey! hey! You Ooh, abomination! Hello! Yes. So who got the He so who got So, the people of Ozawa refused their son from performing the sacrifices for the demise of our sacred python. Hey, you. Hmm. Hmm. As a more, what do we do? Do we wage war on them? Igwe, we shall do no such thing. This is the war of the spirits. Let us allow the spirits to do their war. We shall only ask the princess to give us permission to carry out the burial rites of the queen. The queen must be buried. As a more, Igwe, it breaks my heart. We should at least teach these people 
a little lesson that will linger as long as they live. At least for once! For once! Igwe, like I said before, it is a war for the spirits. Let us leave it at that. Mm in this sacred bush i collect this leaf of an omega get this one of you then eh this is what i do be at ibu then afia zuta u then nwere odu isura ago ago obeze ezo ahia where is the mortal charm does not the immortality. I will bring pain on this land that generations unborn shall hear it and wonder. You lie! Not when Ezan is alive. It is a lie. I will reduce you to dust. Have you taken leave of your senses? How dare you address me in such a disrespectful and rude manner? You deserve no respect or pity from me. You chose to dishonor my mother. And how do you expect me, her child, to respect you? No. Who are you? And what have I with your mother? Oh, so soon your memory has failed you. Your nephew killed my mother and supported him. For that, you shall die. The penalty for those who do not heed to my warning is death through pain. And as for you, Ezra Zaba, for not allowing Wogu to do what he ought to do, you shall pay, and of course, dearly. What manner of talk is that? Do you think I'm a young man like yourself? How dare you talk to me in that manner? You mortal man! You're suffering of a self that don't know when death comes knocking on your door. And I hope you know that your time is up. Who is your father? How dare you talk to me with such impunity? Do you want me to send one of my guys to flog you out of this compound? One of the sons of this land killed my mother, and I come seeking for vengeance. I will inflict pain on this land that any ear that hears it shall tingle. <sighs> 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 hiding place for you. You came to us in distress. We fed you. We clothed you. We nurtured you. All those seasons and this is how you could pay us back. Oh, princess of the land, it was my... Oh, shut up! You shall feel the venom of my anger, just as your wife did. Princess, please, spare my life. I shall do all the things that is required of me. You had all the time to do that, but you didn't. The fly that hears us instruction follows this corpse to the grave. My dear, that was how it continued. People kept on dying until the people of Ozawa came back to our village to perform the funeral rites and they appeased the gods. That was how everything normalized and peace was restored 
back to the land. You mean all these things really happened? It all happened, and there are proofs. At least, you witnessed some yourself. You see, like uh, Uncle Manuel, the way he died, Brad, Felix. <sighs> Honestly, I, I am so scared. So, um, what do we do now? Cecilia, frankly speaking, search me. I don't know. But the snake princess, she's dead now. Or do you think she's still alive? Hmm, all I know is that I'm scared. Please, hey, she's... You're scared? <laughs> <laughs> Mama is right, okay? Hmm? You need the brain. Come on, let's just roll out. I'm not even dressed for an outing. Let me just. Technically, I say you are perfect for me, your husband. Hmm? You look good for me, so let's go. Come on, baby, you really look good. Let's go. Okay? Hmm? Mama will be right back very soon, huh? Okay. Baby, don't stress Mama, okay? Yes, she will. She's a nice Take care of people. Alright. Take care of my mom. Hmm? That's right. <laughs> Alright, won't be too long.
Sorry about that. Um, I was just lost in thoughts. You're thinking of favor? How did you know? You guessed right. I don't know, I've been calling Mama since, but she's not picking her calls. And Jerome here sees my phone, all thanks to you. You know, I wonder what it would be like you know, to have my own baby. There is no feeling that beats the kind of joy you get. Especially when you hold your baby in your arms. Really? Yes. And when you're inside the labor room, you would swear to kill any man that comes close to you. Are you serious? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. This is <laughs> Now, wait, wait, wait. What are you two laughing at? Girls talk. And why is it okay for both of you to talk on end? Can't we have a private talk? Oh, private talk. Huh? Go on. <laughs> That's true. Oh. Um, are you okay? Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm fine. I, I, don't, I don't know. Sometimes, for not just cause, my, my, my heart seems to skip a bit. You never mentioned that to me. Yeah, because it's nothing. Everything is... You sure? Yeah. Cheers, man. Yes. Cheers, my man. Back to you. Cheers, man. Hello. Hello. Are we missing something here? Something like that. Why the guys, not the ladies? Come on. Right, cheers. cheers. To my new fans up. <laughs> Something is not just right. I don't know what is going on. Oh God, please, I just pray nothing happens to me, baby. Please. We're almost home.
Carry the news back to the people. The princess is reborn. Let the people prepare to receive her. Oh, how honored I am to be the bearer of such good news. Go by the streets. You will find an antelope, a gift from a princess. Snake Chama said there's a possibility of the princess returning. But I thought she was dead. Hello, Jerome. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey. Fable. Yes. What is the meaning of this? How did you get into the house? Your daughter, we brought her back. A a and my mother? Won't you let us in? Oh I still don't understand. Won't you let us in? Hey. Okay. Hey. Hey. All is well. Hey. I've been searching everywhere for you. You! <laughs> My Engel, supposed to be happy by now. Your baby is back. What is going on here? How did you come about, my baby? Sit down and listen to us. Speak before I lose my sense of reasoning. Jerome, sit down and listen to us. Huh? Listen, sit down. Jerome, calm down. It's okay. Jerome, Jay. Sit down, let's listen to them. Okay. I'm seated. I'm all ears. Joro, accept our condolences for the death of your beloved mother. It could have been avoided, but she happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. So that is it. So you people killed And how do you explain the baby who disappeared the same day my mother was murdered? Gerald, the princess brought her back to us. How can a snake carry a child? How? That is why I say, be patient. So, when I finish my story, I think you will answer all your, all your questions. Mm -hmm. Sit down. Gerald. Every once in a while, the wind is reincarnated. I know it will sound so strange to you, but I want you to know it happens. Yes. The wind selects a pregnant woman and enters her in time. So the woman gives birth to a child along with a young snake. And with the birth of this child, the wind is rejuvenated. The princess chose Eve and entered her because she could not be born as usual. So she hid in the child as there is a lifelong link between the queen and the child. She had to bring her back to her root to be known. That was how Fevel ended up in the village. You still have not explained who killed my mother. Your mother unfortunately happened to have seen the princess when she was taking on 
a human form and the princess is a bit temperamental that was what happened Timo, address these two people right now they are to be charged for kidnapping and murder what you can't do that now ah we are your in-laws Jerome, what is wrong with you how can you arrest my parents don't give a flying hoot if they are your parents they are to face the law for kidnapping and murder that's it what is wrong with you Simone? Relax. Not to be calm. Just take easy on yourself. You know, problem shared is half solved. It's my family we are talking about. I, I don't even understand. Everything is going wrong. Everything is just taking the wrong turn. Believe me, different deaths are just occurring at such a very short notice. Because of what? Just because of a lady my brother wants to get married to. So how did it all happen? You don't want to believe me. Just, just tell me, just tell me. Uh, Oga, Ozi, that was exactly what happened. We did not kidnap Favor. How can we kidnap our, our grandchild? How? It's not possible, Ozi. We can't do that. And the mother? The mother was killed by the princess. If not for Supo Timothy, I brought you here. I would have taken both of you for mad people. You come here and you tell the police that a snake killed a woman and took a baby hundreds of kilometers away from this place. And you want me to believe that? You want me to believe that? Supo, sir, lock these two people up and charge them for murder and kidnapping. Yeah, come. Jerome, you are here. Come here. Do something. You are here. Yeah, come. Sissy, your story is quite pathetic. But all the same, I have seen situation worse than yours. But God intervened. Yeah. I know God. Of course I do. It's not about knowing God. It's about having a relationship with Him. Yeah. I remember when I had issues with my land. I thought I would do it my own way. Because I had the money. I called the police. I went to court. I spent so much money. But at the end, what did I get? I was on the verge of losing my land. Until I met Pastor Nduka. His prayers worked miraculously for me. And ever since then, I've come to believe that God is the solution master. Nothing is impossible with Him. And I believe the same God that did it for me will do it for you. Just believe. So, how can I reach Him? Well, as you can see, it's late already. Maybe tomorrow I'll take it to his office. Yeah, just believe. Yeah, you're yeah, welcome. Gave up my homeland and turned my back on my parents just to be with you because I love you. So, you're not saying anything new.
kiss released by parents. I swear to you, they did not do it. They were not the ones that killed your mother. And they did not kidnap Favor. Am I the judge? Side on their innocence. Honey, you know the supernatural is not admissible in the court. You know that. Then they should think up another alibi, acceptable by the court. My mother was cruelly. Please, I beg you. I beg you, don't do this, please. If you know you love me, just do it for me, please. They didn't do it. Please. Please. Waiting. Why do they look me like film? Have you never seen a person before? Hmm? Answer me! Why would I look at you? Why would I? Since you've forgotten that you're a woman, what are the kind of example you will be giving to your children? It's bad. <laughs> okay. We bad, Abby. Confirm. Yeah. Madam Holy Holy, now waiting bring you come my kaba. My own kaba while they handle. Now waiting. I don't blame you. You can call me names. Eh? It's not your fault. But let me tell you, I didn't do anything. It's all about misunderstanding. Okay? <laughs> of course. Now misunderstanding. Bring all of us come here. Because the society misunderstand us. Hmm? President Papa misunderstand us. Oh. So now who can understand person like you? Hmm? Don't be a fool. Don't. You call me a fool. You know, get respect. What's that slap? Are you a lady? You look finished. They call fool Abby. You know they fear? What's your problem? Eh? Don't you respect your elders? You want to know what to be my problem, Abby? Look, my baby, I am old enough to be your mother. Don't just insult me because you see me here. See you! Shut up before I forget my hand for your face! Tasha! Shut up! Mama! Teach her lessons! Why don't you try that on someone of your size? Let this one come out from. Who is this? Where you come out from? Not the talk. Where I come from is beyond your comprehension. So why don't we leave it at that? <laughs> I don't blame you. You not get respect. Una no pay for sex show. Excuse me, young lady. 
be his mind to your manners. Do you know who you are talking to? Do you know? Hi! I will teach the both of you some manners now. Now, which guy here yeah, yeah, knows this woman they make this night for that place? Hey, may they no leave me carry the kind vex with in my mind now and go meet them there. Because I feel you still girls do bonanza for them this night. Don't just mind those women. By the time I finish dealing with those nuisances, they will understand that hellfire could be in this planet. Go on with the call that noise. Go down to the station right away. There's a situation there. Go and arrest the situation. I am coming right away. Yes, I am coming.
Have you interrogated all the suspects separately? Yes, sir. And their statements collaborate? Yes, sir. All right. Um, go get me the woman and her husband. Sure, sir. This is getting too much. What happened? All these snakes have killed them too? No, sir. So where are they? Sir, they... I said you should get me the woman and her husband. Yes, sir, but they... They, they, they... they what? Sir, they have disappeared, sir. They have what? They have disappeared? Yes, sir. In my station? And you're not dead? Two suspects disappear from the cell? And you're here? You're dead. Sure, sir. By the time I come back, you must have found them. Yes, sir. And you, constable? Sir. Stay here. Yes, sir. No, sir. It's a bit early, or should I say late, to pay me a visit? It's not a social call. From the look on your face, it's really not. What can I do for you? She's back. It's not girl. I take it. Yes. She never died. I was told she reincarnated using my daughter. Tell me, please, can that really happen? Is it possible? There are many mysteries in Africa. Some explainable, some are not. It depends on what one chooses to believe and what you choose to ignore. You still haven't answered my question. How can you explain this man that play with sword? Sliding at their body without being caught. Well, let me bring you home. How can you explain a child who is physically marked before she or he dies? And when a new baby is born to the family, it bears the same mark. So, what you're saying is that with all the scientific innovations, cell phones, nuclear weapons, computers, ancient beliefs still exist. That is why I say that it depends on what one believes. But there is no scientific back into such claims. That is why it is a mystery. Oh my God. So, what do I do now? My child is involved. The seed of my loins. What were you asked to do? From, from what they said, there is nothing wrong with my child. Just a reaction to the charms. That means she will grow up and live normal. But I still said she has kinship to the snake. How has that affected your wife? You dated her for years. Was she unnatural? If she or if you had not stumbled on her past to understand. Look, every tribe revives an animal and it has never affected any one of us. I want you to give me one reason. One reason why I should not give you an ugly room trial. How can two people 
disappear from your custody. I swear, sir. Both of us are also very, very confused. In a moment, sir, both of them were in the cell. The next moment, fiam, they disappeared into thin air. Is that what happened? Yes, sir. It happened just as he says, sir. Witchcraft or jazz or just what do you call it? How do you even incident this case? How? So I I think I have an idea on where they could be found. And where might that be? Their daughter's home, of course. I mean Jerome's house. What are we waiting for? Excuse me. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're welcome. Can I be of any help to you? Yeah, yes, please. Can I see the man of God? Give me a phone. Um, it's 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 very urgent. No problem. Hello. The lady here wants to see you urgently. Urgently. Okay, send her. Okay, sir. No problem. Okay. You may enter now. Enter the first door by your right. Thank you very much. Good day, Pastor. Yeah, good day. Sit down. So, how may I help you? Pastor, it's about my brother. A lot of things have been happening to him since he came back from his wife's um, village. What happened in his wife's village? My brother and his friends, they went for his wife's wedding um, ceremony. And on their way back, they killed a python. They, they didn't know that the people there were very python. So they were asked to perform some rituals, which they refused. They also warned them that the snake beings would come after them. But all this sounded like a joke. Not um, too recently, two of his friends died from snake bites. Pastor, they even went to see a snake charmer who promised to help them kill the snake. But wait, 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 wait. How does the snake operate? Pastor, the snake actually turns into a very beautiful lady and turns back into the snake. That's how he kills her. Victim. Pastor, we need your help. I need you to come to our house. I know all this is sounding so confusing, but the snake has already killed my mother. Look, young woman, is your brother a born again Christian? First, my brother goes to church. I know he goes to church. In that case, he has not given his life to Christ. And you, have you given your life to Christ? But I'm ready to give my life to Christ here now. Kneel down, let me pray for you. Oh, I want you to understand that this is not one of those prayer sessions. Thank you, my Lord. Oh, the Bible made us to understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in high places. Yeah, thank you, my dear and everlasting Father. Father, Lord, we bless your holy name for this day. We say thank you because this is a day you have set aside to deliver this one. Today, after you have given your life to Christ, I'm going to soak you in the blood of Jesus so that you'll be mean, Father, Lord, to face their antics because you're going to war. It is war. Oh, repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come, I come to you as my Lord and personal Savior. As my Lord and personal Savior. Today I confess all my sins. Today I confess all my sins. And I submit my life to you. And I submit my life to I you. Because I know you died on the tree of Calvary for my sin. Because I know you died on the tree of Calvary for my sin. I say, Father Lord, from today take control of my life. Father Lord, from today take control of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, I soak her in the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, I say thank you because after today she's immune to face their antics, my dear and everlasting Father. Thank you, Jehovah Nessie. We are going to war and I want you to get prepared. Thank you, Father Lord, because it takes you. 
outside you nothing works we bless your holy name because your word says that when the enemy will come like a flood that the spirit of the lord will raise up a standard against them Can't you calm down? Jerome, don't you think it's time you, you stop this and listen to somebody? Huh? You are fighting against phone that no police or, or, or motor trapping of any kind can, can deal with. Just relax. Yes. Please come upstairs at once. Yes, I'm upstairs. Yes. Okay. You're smart. You broke out of cell, and now I am going to take you straight to Remad. Let's see how you perform your magic there. Oh, see, uh, please. I am very sorry for all the problems I have caused you, but at the same time, I want you to sit down. I want to tell you something. There is something I want to talk with you. Osi, why not sit down and listen to my father? All right. I'm all ears. Sit. Uh. Um, Osi, uh, thank you very much for your patience. I, I, I wish it was done like this earlier on. You know, it would have saved a lot of lives. You see, we are people that for over the years revel the snake. And uh, I tell you, this art has never in any way affected our worship, our paying of taxes, or even being a good citizen of the country. Uh, what happened was very, very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. But at the same time, if you people persist, I tell you, it will get worse. Yes. You see, your guns, your, your gel cannot do anything. He can't stop this neck, people. All she is asking for is peace. Peace, yes. Peace to mourn and mother, just like you mourn yours. Why not we give peace a chance? I thought you had something better to say. I do have something to say. This is my brother, the one I told you about. Pastor! Pastor. Brother, this is Pastor Nduka. I brought him. Pastor, Pastor, there's a problem. There's a problem. Your sister here ran to me and she said that you're having a situation here that needs God's intervention. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Pastor, Pastor, what? that's her. That's my brother's son, the one I told you, this snake girl. Shake it, shake it, make it, shake it, You, Cecilia, why will you do a thing like that? Why will you bring him here without informing us? You know this is our tradition. Your tradition, my foot. What stupid tradition is she talking about? No! This is your tradition. Killed my uncle Manuel. This same tradition killed Brad Afeli. Your tradition killed my mother. What are you talking about? You want my mother to die also? What? What? Cecilia, you? You also accuse me of mama's death? You? You? My Bible tells me in Psalm 23 that though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. And I stand under that word and I say, 
you foul spirit from the pit of hell. You must bow to I, the servant of the Most High God. Ramama shekere makasheka sutaya. I say bow, bow. You worthless human. I warn you to stay clear, or I shall invoke my wrath, which I promise you shall not see the end of. <laughs> it has since been ended on the cross of Calvary, and I tell you, I stand under that word and I say, Bow! Oh, In the bow. mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth, I say, Bow! Bow! Bow to the will of your master! Bow! In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I say, Bow! You cannot do me any faith. Not even this was beside me. Because we are covered. We are carrying a seal of come nine out and touch nine out. I say bow. I say bow. 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 I say, I command you in the name of Jesus, go back to the pit of hell where you are coming from. I tell you, I have a, I'm serving a God that is a consuming fire. Like in the days of Elijah, hey, Holy Spirit of God divine, I invoke you to come and consume hell with your fire. I say, consume hell with your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, my brother. Just Amen. like Jesus said on the top of Calvary, that it is finished. It is finished for you today. Amen. Oh, my brothers and sisters, Amen. Moses told Amen. the children of Israel life that the vision they see today, they shall see them no more. My God is able. Amen. I invite you to that land that flows with milk and honey. Is there anyone here who wants to give his or her life to Christ? Is there anyone here who wants to confess Lord Jesus as his alone as personal savior? Let that one indicate. Yes. Yes, yes, thank you, my child of Allah Father. Oh, my sister. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Look, education. Oh, thank you. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. Oh, yeah. Oh, Father Lord, you have done a great thing. We have a mighty harvest. Oh, thank you, come back. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins. I confess my sins. I believe that today, that today, I submit, I submit to the will of God. To the will of God, I confess you as my Lord and personal Savior. My Lord and personal Savior. Thank you, Lord. At the mention of your name, every tongue of your name, at the mention of your name.